take a little trip with me and hopefully you can see how the hood, suburbs, and main street are all connected. Enough respect, I mean, we network across the globe cause it's a global market in case you didn't know. And since we all about information flow, let me be the first one to welcome you to Tech Zone with Paul Amadeus Lane. Let's talk tech cause technology changing the game. It's all good in the hood. It's everywhere. Now let's get to the show because we live on air. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the Tech Zone. I am Paul Amadeus Lane and I'm so happy to have you on this edition of the show. Coming up on the show this week, we're going to be talking about connected hotels. Yeah, you heard me right. What does that mean? You're going to have to stay tuned to check it out. We're also going to be talking about home audio innovation and what one company is doing to making sure that they are staying current with the trends and technology, but staying true to their core values when they started the company back in 1960. Long time ago. But we're going to start our show off talking about cell phones. If you're like me, you probably have a ton of cell phones around the house. Old cell phones that you used to use, that you traded in, or not really traded in, but got new devices and they're just sitting on your coffee table. I know I have a few of them. What do we do with those phones? We know some carriers will let you trade it in for a newer device, but what about the older smartphones or the older phones that we may have in our possession? Or maybe we just don't wanna trade it in. We wanna keep it around for, for a few months after we get a new device to kind of transfer some things over there. Well, my next company, did something very innovative a few years back with his video that they released. Check it out. Ooh, 1,000. My dad has two and this one is old. I think about two million. Or I told my dad he has like a hundred. My dad has an iPhone, the iPhone 6 Plus. Hmm. He needed the bigger phone because his hands are huge. I think a lot of phones are in the garbage now. I think they just put it in a cabinet and forget about it. They put it in lava, I think. Or they're in my dad's office in the cabinet. I think all of them are in the garage. Cadmium. Bromin. Lead. Mm -hmm. Mercury. Yes. Yes, it's a planet. It could explode. And it might make earthquake kill the loops. If the chemicals get in the ground or the water, it can make some animals sick. Especially worms. It's good to recycle because it's better for the earth. The recycle won't go in the water, it'll remake it. We can start things all over again. A good idea. This is me and this is the Equitium machine. You can use that and get money for it. Don't throw your phone in the trash. Put it, Put it in the recycle. I tell you, I love that video. And the children, I don't know if you're like me, but children sometimes teach us as adults how to act. You know what I mean? Especially when it comes to important issues. You know, the well-known book says, Out of the Mouth of Babes. And I, and I love that video. But what does that mean for you and I today? And joining me right now is a spokesperson for Eco ATM, Gazelle. We have Chase Freeman. Chase, how you doing, my friend? Good, how are you? Chase, I am doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. And Chase, I was just blown away 
at the uh, the video we just watched uh, how the kids explaining the the different cell phones and yep. and and it really got me thinking that I have a bunch of cell phones sitting sitting in my house and 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 that's something that we as consumers really don't give attention to when we're always constantly upgrading these devices we just can't throw them away in the trash but we need to make sure that we uh, dispose of them in a way that has the environment in mind i couldn't agree more and here at ukulele tim gazelle that's you know top of mind quite a priority for us uh both through Eco ATM and Gazelle, um, you know, so many consumers across the country have, you know, whether it be that older iPad or that iPhone 6, because they've upgraded to, you know, the iPhone 8 now, uh, just laying in a drawer collecting dust. And it's not only, you know, top of mind to recycle it rather than, you know, it possibly ending up in a landfill, which is horrible for the environment, but also why not earn some extra cash while doing so? And, you know, those two things, it's really the best of both worlds, right? Because you're getting a little extra cash for something laying in your drawer, and you're also helping to protect the environment, which is very important. That is so true. And now, when when ones first hear about the the process when it comes to uh, recycling uh, these devices, are they like kind of shocked at first? Because you know, some people may not know. Because I, I know some people they just put their phones in the trash, their tablets in the trash. It doesn't work anymore. When they finally realize that this is something they can do to put some cash in their pocket, but also Help the environment. What's been some of the feedback that you and the company have have received? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, initially it's just very positive feedback of, oh wow, I didn't realize. You know, there's this company that ha- takes such a you know proactive measure to uh, recycle devices, but also you know putting devices in the hands of consumers who maybe want to purchase a refurbished device, which many of these devices are like new at you know discounted prices off retail. So it's really that full cycle of recycling a device, uh, giving someone cash for that unneeded, you know, unwanted device that they have in their drawer or laying at their house, and then also putting it back in the hands of, you know, someone who could use a refurbished device. And, um, you know, as we're speaking right now, very close to the holiday season, uh, it's, you know, a great way to purchase a gift for, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. It's uh, really a great way to also purchase a device from our Gazelle Direct store. And, you know, one, one thing I, I really, really like is the, the process, how easy you all have made it to to recycle the devices, especially if you go to the, the Eco ATM. And, and it, it doesn't take rocket science. You know, you can do it in, in, in a few steps. And, and, and I think the process really is inviting for some of us out there who may not have known about, you know, this type of capability out there. Right. Yeah, it really is quite easy. Um, You know, as you see in our our YouTube video, it's not something that's going to take you an hour, you know, really within about, let's say, 10 minutes, you can go. And of course, there's a process of, you know, verifying your ID through your you know driver's license um, and a few quick steps to get to, you know, that page um, on the kiosk where you find out how much we can offer you through the kiosk for that device. And it's really not something, again, like I was saying, that's very time consuming. And circling back to, you know, really our mission of protecting the planet and also getting consumers some uh, quick cash for their unwanted device. And what I like too, uh, Chase, is the fact that, that you have put in security measures as well. You talked about verifying the ID and mm-hmm. how, how you all have uh, partnered with law enforcement too to make sure there's no nefarious things going on with people just stealing people's phones and, and trying to trying to get some cash. And, and, and talk about why you guys took that extra step to make sure everything was on the level? Because we, you know, really protect first and foremost our customers' um, identity and ensuring that, you know, someone hasn't maybe stolen their ID and is using it at a kiosk, you know, and hoping, oh, maybe this company won't verify that I am who I say I am. So, you know, what's really interesting is here at our headquarters in San Diego, we have a team in real time verifying customers' IDs. So you walk up to, let's just say, a kiosk in Arkansas. We have um, a team member here at HQ verifying that person's ID in real time to ensure their safety is kept and um, also ensure that you know they efficiently um, have a great uh, experience at the kiosk. But you know, first and foremost, it's really protecting our uh, customers' uh, identity and ensuring that... Um, there's no issues there. And I, I think that that's something that our customers really like to hear, um, you know, even when watching the video that you referenced or just 
knowing how we operate as a company, it's, uh, I think it's refreshing for them to know that we value that very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I think uh, when, when we as a consumer, when we see that, we, we really can, can get on board of, of helping out the environment and also standing behind a company that, that, that's took everything into consideration, you know, when right. it comes to the, it comes to this process and, and talk about when the, when the company uh, started yeah. to where we're at today and yeah. just some of the things you guys have implemented to, 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 I guess, to um, take on new things in the company. Like, so, okay, we, 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 we do this online. We have the store, we have the yeah. ATM. How do you guys continue to come up with, with fresh ideas when it comes to uh, recycling uh, uh, electronics? Yeah, no, that's, that's a great question. Um, how I would love to start that off is we just had our two-year anniversary of becoming that one brand. So Eco ATM Gazelle becoming one brand. That was November 10th, 2015. And so coming off that two years, the two brands became one. And what's so amazing about that is we now offer consumers multiple ways to, one, trade in their device responsibly. So Say you want to, um, you don't want to go to a kiosk, but you want to do it from the comfort of your own home. You just go on gazelle.com to sell your phone, get a quote for whatever condition um, you feel it's in. And what's really nice about that is say you send your phone in and you think it's in good condition, but our technician at our processing facility in Louisville, Kentucky claims that, okay, no, this one's actually in excellent condition. We're going to reach out to you and say, hey, your phone's actually worth a little bit more because um, we find that it's in excellent condition. We're going to give you that higher um, amount. Uh, and also, once you have accepted a quote, we uh, send you a box out. Um, I actually brought an example here. So say um, you're on Gazelle and you want to trade in your uh, iPhone, your Samsung Galaxy, for example. We're going to send you that box um, and then you send it back to us and you get paid out. Um, one of three ways. So just a standard check, or you could do a PayPal or Amazon gift card. Um, so again, not having to leave your house, ship the box out. Uh, if you want to use your own box to make it even quicker, you're more than welcome to do so. Um, but again, we, you know, shipping included, we provide um, a label to you right off the bat. And then, um, so what's really nice is having these two ways to trade in a device responsibly. So again, going to the kiosk for the instant cash, or if you want to just do it from the comfort of your own home, and um, you have to wait a little bit longer for the payment. But again, it's really a relatively quick process. And I think that that's really, you know, proven to be so successful because we're reaching consumers of all walks of life and all, you know, maybe they find one way to be more convenient. But we're really protecting the mission of this company through two very easy and responsible uh, ways to, you know, trade in your uh, old device and technology in a responsible manner. Fascinating. And when... We look at the way technology is, is ever changing. Uh, your company, no doubt, is inundated with with a lot of devices. Because look at it now, you know, uh, different carriers out there saying, "Oh, you can get this phone for life if you pay this amount." So each year, you, you can trade in the phone. So, so you guys have to be bursting at the seams right now. Yeah, you know, it's obviously we, uh, you know, every September with the Apple press conference, it's always. Uh, you know, top of mind of when the new device launches, you know, we often will see that uptick in devices traded in. Um, and, you know, so right now with the newest iPhone 8 and the 10, uh, you know, we, we've obviously seen a, an uptick in uh, previous uh, generation iPhones being traded in for the consumers who are purchasing those. But again, on our direct store side, um, it's, you know, top of mind for consumers right now, you know, as we're coming off Thanksgiving, going into Cyber Monday, uh, offering, you know, competitive deals, uh, for example, 40% off select devices and 10% off uh, site-wide. Um, you know, it's, it's something I think that's very top of mind for consumers who want to purchase a certified uh, device ahead of uh, Christmas and the holiday season. And Chase, I'm glad you brought up the Cyber uh, Monday uh, deal because uh, I, I'm getting blasted over here about not having you on before Black Friday and, and having you on the Sunday before uh, yeah. Cyber money, so I'm glad you you brought that up. And uh, and when it when it comes to putting incentives out there uh, for the for the consumer out there, what what are some of the things that you guys try to process in the uh, in your mind to make it more appealing to ones out there who may not have done this before? Yeah, great question. Um, you know, I think 
it's looking at a consumer who, you know, one person may be that Apple user, one may be the Android Samsung user. So I think it's ensuring that we don't have just Apple products, right, um, on on a sale or on an incentive uh, for, let's, you know, for the current day, Cyber Monday, um, making sure we have diversity in the promotions we're offering for the different products. And I think it's also important that, you know, we offer not just, you know, that iPhone or that Samsung Galaxy, we offer iPads. We have an inventory of MacBooks. And, you know, of course, when we look at our promotions, it's also because um, we do so much trade in as a company, uh, you know, through kiosks and through um, the uh, gazelle.com. It's something we are always looking at because, you know, our inventory is always changing by the minute um, with all the trade ins that we receive. And so we really want to look at what our consumers will, I think, be most incentivized by um, when, you know, considering their purchases this holiday season. And, you know, making sure we're offering them the best promotions because, you know, we really value uh, new customers, customer loyalty. And I think, um, you know, what's really great about our brands and our mission is that, you know, it's we're very much about customer first. Right. So how can we help our customers to be happy uh, and really, you know, receive the, um, you know, grade A um, experience when using Eco ATM and Gazelle? And Chase says being um, uh, running the PR department, also being the spokesperson. Yeah, you're in the first line of defense. You know, I've I've dealt with spokespersons a lot. You know, when it comes to uh, being in the media, and what's been some of the feedback that you have gotten to say from the cell phone manufacturers, the carriers out there? Do they look at you as as a partnership, or do they look at you kind of like messing up their little game they have going on? What's what's been kind of the feedback? No, it's a fair question. Um, I I would say not really as a partner since we we don't you know work uh, solely with any carrier um, through any type of partnership. We are very much our own standalone uh, company and brand. And I think that's, you know, what's unique. It's, it's, we offer customers, you know, a really easy way to trade in their device um, without having to go through a carrier and um, just whatever that device may be getting it traded in. So they can either, you know, go and purchase that newest one through say, whether it be Apple, whether it be their carrier, but making sure they have a seamless process to, go through us, trade in their device, and either purchase a, you know, certified refurbished device uh, through Gazelle or go and uh, purchase uh, a brand new device from, you know, the store of their choice or the carrier. And I think um, that's what makes the brand, you know, you know, years of continued success and really um, standing alone is something we're very proud of. So um, I always like that question. Absolutely. I, I totally agree with that as well, too, that it, it really shows just how you have the consumer and the environment and in heart, in heart, when you make the yeah. decisions and, and, and nobody's manipulating the decisions, you know, behind the scenes, because it, it's, the mission is to to really make sure that our environment is safe and having these devices out there that that ones can purchase. Uh, and and I think I think it's phenomenal uh, what you guys are doing out there. And, yeah. and Chase, is there anything else out there that you like the, the viewer or the listener uh, to really uh, hone in on as we are having this discussion? Yeah, I think, um, you know, circling back to, you know, both Eco ATM and Gazelle being so, you know, user friendly and um, so easy to use. I think it's just looking to see which is easiest for you. So do you want to visit a kiosk, your local shopping center or mall, or is Gazelle um, the choice that works well for you um, from the use of your home? And I think, you know, with us, you know, speaking right ahead of Cyber Monday, I just really I think it's really important to encourage all consumers to really check out um the Gazelle Direct store and really easy to visit that store. Um, gazelle.com is our main website for trading in both the direct store, but you can go to buy.gazelle.com and uh, that will take you uh, straight to our direct store to see, you know, which products have that 40% off discount I mentioned for Cyber Monday, as well as uh, the 10% off uh, site wide. So I think a really great time for consumers to check out our inventory um, as they are, you know, purchasing gifts for loved ones and friends. Well said, well said. And and let's say if those um, want to check out the kiosk, how can they find out more information about the about the kiosk and where they're at in the area? Yeah, so uh, through the Eco ATM website, either ecoatm.com um, or you can do ecoatm.com um, slash locator. And so that's going to take you directly to the page um, to find a kiosk uh, near you. But if you're on the homepage, you would just click the button that says find a kiosk, uh, not even halfway through the homepage. And um, you will just type in your zip code or your city and you can find one. It could be, you know, your local shopping mall um, or just shopping center. And 
What's nice is you can um, get an estimate of uh, what your phone is worth through uh, Eco ATM, so you're um, kind of apprised of that before visiting a kiosk. Awesome. And how many uh, Eco ATMs uh, are there in the, in the United States, if, if we may ask? Great question. So we are uh, just over 2,700 at the moment. Wow. Um, so quite a few across the U.S. and looking to, you know, continue to increase that number uh, as we are, you know, going into 2018. So it's definitely a constantly growing number and something we're very proud of. You know, it's pretty amazing too, Chase, is I, I saw one in Las Vegas. Okay. And had no idea one day that I'll be talking to you about okay. Ego ATM and and also 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 a gazelle and it, and it's truly amazing what you guys are doing out there and uh, and again Cyber Monday check them out some great deals tell them about that deal one more time so, so Cyber Monday we'll be offering forty percent off select products as well as ten percent off site wide and you can visit um, buy gazelle dot com to check out a complete you know list of our inventory you can filter out by device so really easy to. Uh, check out the promotions and find the one that works best for you. Awesome. And, and Chase, thank you so much uh, for coming on and talking to us about uh, what the fine folks over there at eco ATM uh, gazelle are doing and helping the environment and helping uh, the consumer out there. And you're always welcome back. And, and thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to catching up with you soon. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. Once again, I'd like to thank Chase Freeman joining me from Eco ATM Gazelle, talking about some of the great things that their company is doing when it comes to the environment for you and I, when it comes to our devices that we trade in. And do you know they even let you recycle other devices too? Which devices, you may ask? You have to go to their website, gazelle.com, and check it out. Don't forget some of the great deals happening on Cyber. Monday, and I really got the business handed to me by some of my followers. Like, why didn't you have them on for Black Friday? I'm sorry, the show airs on the weekend. It's my bad. I'll take responsibility, but that's no excuse for you not to take advantage of their Cyber Monday <laughs> and Black Friday on my Cyber Monday deals. All right, we'll be right back with more show. We're going to talk about some home audio innovation coming up after these messages. <laughs> 